Uh, uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. And yes, the sun is shining. It's shining bright, surprising. <laughs> but since you said that uh, I'm articulate, I would like to tell everyone that uh, I'm deeply honored to be part of this journey in coming and actually just being the spokesperson for all the lovely people who worked on this documentary. Uh, you know, I just happen to have that honor. Uh, they have been deeply involved in this and they are the real people who must get the credit for this entire journey and uh, Yeah, so how does it feel to be part of history the Oscar? That's the big one. I Think absolutely surreal absolutely insane. I think first is an Indian because uh, Over the years being a part of the entertainment industry, you know, you always look at this most sort of coveted award the most prestigious global stage and you always just see it on the screen and you're seeing other uh, sort of uh, stories and productions from all around the world. So I think it was just so amazingly surreal for all of us at Netflix India to actually see uh, an Indian production, uh, two women from India, a director, uh, producers, uh, Guneet and Achin and, and really just a most beautiful story, Rishi, going from, uh, you know, uh, uh, such a beautiful part of India, uh, an elephant camp, mm -hmm. such, you know, I mean, it's such an emotional story. It's so honest. It's so, uh, you know, spiritual in its nature, which is something we see in it's India funny. from the very beginning, okay, you know, okay. the bond between... Uh, uh, you know, humans and animals and how we nurture them, uh, you know, no, so many of our gods are like that. And, uh, you know, so I just feel that, uh, okay. like, you know, that bond that is being celebrated here, that was the most beautiful part. So as an Indian, I was proud. And then uh, doubly so as a Netflix exec, uh, because I think that uh, when, when your uh, production uh, goes to this kind of a stage, uh, I think it's an entirely different honor, pride, moment of pride uh, and to, you know, just see our producers and directors stand there and receive it, receive that statue that everyone looks at, I think it's truly special. Lovely. We're going to chat some more, so let's sit down and we're going to call a few of our friends over also. You know, I look at what you're doing and what you're trying to achieve at Netflix India and I have nothing but respect and one of the reasons is this, I mean, when you're unearthing stories, I would imagine that in the documentary genre, a romantics would be perhaps easier to green light, considering it's films, it's popular culture, it's the legacy of Yash Chopra. But the story of two beautiful baby elephants and their parents, which is Roman and Berry, how do you unearth that one? What made you believe in that particular story? Because it's not built for commercial stardom overnight. I think, uh, thank you for that question, Rishi, because many people don't really even, uh, you know, sort of understand uh, the process of really bringing uh, such really uh, little known stories to life. For us at Netflix, it really begins from the passion and vision of creators uh, and, you know, uh, how they are looking at an idea what is the purpose behind a story? What is it meant to do? You know, and, and a beautiful soft story like this can actually get completely lost in the din of so many stories that are louder and, uh, you know, seemingly punch higher. But I think here is where I think I would really uh, like to give credit to so many Netflix execs and particularly Alok Devichand, uh, you know, who's the commissioning executive. Uh, on the Elephant Whisperers, that he saw the beauty in what Kartiki and the team at Ikea were trying to do, what Kartiki's vision was in, in really following these Mahouts, Baman and Belly, and uh, what it really means, you know, at this moment in time, uh, in the history of the world, in the history of the planet, what are the stories that need to be told and that must come out? Why are they urgent to tell? Why are they beautiful to tell? And why will they touch the hearts of so many people across the world? So I think that is the journey of finding those stories and seeing what will create awareness, create an awakening, have a conversation. And I'm so happy that the Elephant Whisperers 
has actually started that conversation. It's brought it center stage, and the world has seen the beautiful work of women in Delhi and all the forest officials who run these camps. Just to show. So, real, uh, the entire journey has just been one crazy journey from 2017 to right up to now. So, six years of craziness, I think. But what? Hey, camera! Hey, camera! Hey, boy! What it is? They were bullying us a little. celebrating with everybody with, with everybody at home so yes that moment was absolutely surreal and epic and proud and humbling and such an honor but uh, i think the reeling in is happening now so uh, the joy is jo the joy i really feel is the joy that i see in everyone's eyes you know this is these these eyes and these faces and smiles make us feel proud so um, thank you for an awesome welcome and for celebrating us all the way we'd like to invite a man who played a very pivotal part in this journey please put your hands together for the producer of the elephant whisperers co-founder of sikya achin jain achin jain achin my partner yeah thank Archimedes is spearheaded in some of the most challenging and unconventional films, so many acclaimed titles, such a diverse range. You know, when I look at what Sikha has done in terms of the scale, the subject, the budgets, and the complexities that you've taken uh, taken on. So many congratulations to you too. Yeah. Are you in love with Elephants just a wee bit more, Archim? Yes, I think a uh, lot more uh, after this. After you know, living through the story of Baman Bailey and Raghu and Amu. the words of aman belly the you know the our stars amu and raghu and their actions so yeah i mean we have a we have a pet uh, a lab uh, master shifu so i think for us uh, at sikya so i mean for for us you know the uh, for the first time we have discovered a connection between different nature i mean for us i mean when i see uh, shifu or uh, raghu and amu there are so many similarities so it's just bizarre and i mean i think the resolution and that love has been throughout the world with the fan art the people the fan art that we have seen so yeah a lot more in love with baby elephant sir guys i'd like you to give a round of applause to the team of sikya entertainment the entire team thank you they're all here can you they're all here just stand up you know i i beg your pardon i take up uh, uh, two people's places and it's a limited it's a limited stage so we couldn't call everybody on stage but we want to respect you we want to honor you so just you know thank you very much our team is here our dob yeah we we'll introduce you to them later one by one but right right now just a, another round of applause team sikya thank you thank you so much so much means the most kartik let's do a rewind your first ever meeting i mean i am absolutely stunned i just had a uh, A five-minute interaction, interaction with Bomber and Belly. Just wanted to, you know, get to know that, and they're so beautiful and pure. Your first meeting with Bomber and Belly. Tell us about how that went. Well, to begin with, I actually grew up in the Delhi, uh, in the Delhi mountains, and I was driving on my way back from Uti to Bangalore to pack my things and come back home. And that's when I saw, I saw baby Raghu, and he was just three months old at the time, and he had his arm, um, he had his trunk. Uh, wrapped around a woman's arm, and they were walking off to the side of the road. I was hanging out of the car, which I shouldn't have been doing. But then I, I just pulled the car over to the side, and I jumped out, and I went and joined them. We went down to the river for a bath, and that's when Raku ran in full speed into the river. Never seen a baby elephant run so fast. He ran in, and he pretty much looked like a baby helicopter. His trunk was being thrown around all directions, and. And that's when I really started to notice that you had this tiny little elephant calf that was so extremely vulnerable, and that made me question why this calf was with a human being because you had these two species here, and you had this beautiful unique bond that they share. And I think that sort of led me forward to think about, like, I think about why this little young calf was with a human being, and that's when I realized that the Asian elephants were endangered. 
and that there were only about uh, 35,000 to 40,000 of them left. And here we had Baby Raghu, who was, who was actually uh, directly involved with how climate change was playing out, because his mother had wandered into nearby herd. Uh, I mean, her, she and her had wandered into a nearby village in search of clean water, and that's how she got electrocuted and died. So I think the entire process of how that happened just wanted me to help protect elephants and to document this beautiful sacred bond that they share. And it's soon after that that I actually come across Belly because she was back in doing a lot of the housework at that point. So I didn't know she existed. It was something that I unraveled over time. And it really just started out with the beautiful connection that I shared uh, with baby Raghu and Baby Raghu. And that's how this journey came into being. And I also wanted to just go ahead and and also focus on indigenous people because we had we had Bowman and after just talking to him for so many hours, I realized that they had this beautiful connection with the space that they lived in. And that's something that I also wanted to bring out to the forefront. And that's how this entire journey began. It's lovely. You know, just before they went off uh, to the Oscars, I was lucky enough to do a, a Zoom session with uh, Gunith as well as Karthiki and I was stunned to know that there was 450 hours of footage, 450 hours of footage shot by them and that had to be encapsulated into a 40 minute film. Now that is a superhuman effort and I think that itself deserves an Oscar which is wonderful. But you know, what, what I loved is you know this delicate footage of the forest and nature, it looked as though you were truly trying to capture the soul of the animals and the people who were living there. So in that aspect, the journey of the Elephant Whisperers and you as director and cinematographer, the steps that you consciously took to make us feel we're part of Bowman, Eli, Raghu, uh, you know, Ambo's world. Having grown up in the same space, I experienced the beauty that the place had to offer right from a very young age. And that's something that I really wanted to showcase to the world. I wanted people to immerse into their life and to be able to experience all the different animals that were around. And in, in fact, we would, uh, we would actually head out. And I think Chris was here in the audience right there. Um, he, he, was, he was on this journey from the very beginning. And we would head out and go out at 4 a.m. in the morning and we'd head off into the forest. We'd try to record in the most beautiful light. And it, yeah, that's how it all evolved. We would spend lots of hours out in the wilderness and capturing the beauty of the place. I think it's really important to showcase the place and all its beauty. And we have that right where we were in the documentary. Lovely. Monica, debut director. Amazing. And I want to laud you and Team Netflix. Uh, Every time I give you a direct compliment, you always shut it off and say it's the team. You know, you you know, you you don't like being self laudatory, which is why we love you so much. But really, the fact that years ago, directorial debut wins an Oscar, what does this mean for young creators? And what the Elephant Whisperers has done in terms of empowering young creators, and that's really what you set out to do at Netflix India, didn't you? Yeah, I think uh, it's just so amazing to see Karthiki being, uh, you know, in her first uh, film as a director and, you know, having producers also who are a part of the journey. And for us at Netflix, it really matters to, you know, find uh, the raw talent which is out there, all the creators who are just bubbling with stories to come to Netflix like Karthiki did. And, you know, really, uh, uh, you know, wanting to tell the stories in the most courageous, the most honest way and stories that can actually reach out, have universal appeal. And I think for me uh, personally, the fact that all of us as execs at Netflix uh, are huge fans of storytelling, I think that is what we eat, sleep, breathe. Guneet and Achin know that. We have 100 conversations around that all the time and with all our partners and creators. I think it's just something that runs deep at Netflix, which is respect for stories, storytellers. And I think we would not be the service that we are if it were not for, uh, you know, first time storytellers like Karthiki or seasoned storytellers who find that one story that can, you know, just uh, sort of uh, uh, go big and you know, go all over the world. But I think uh, fundamentally it is about the stories and the people who have the vision, passion, bring it together. We are there to be as strong creative enablers and to make their journey 
uh, and their vision come to life. You know, I, all my friends from the media will, will agree when I say this. That it's, it's wrong to be judgmental when people run after the masses, uh, the larger stories, the low-hanging fruit, because that is a way of life that some producers have chosen for themselves. And it's wrong of us to judge them. But at the other end of the spectrum, you look at somebody like Gunit Monga, you look at Sikhya, and you see that it's not just about the low-hanging fruit and running after the masses, it's also about the underrated stories. And instinctively, Gunit, I always feel that you go after the underrated stories. Uh, is, that a, is that a conscious choice? You know, I honestly feel very spiritual about my work. Uh, Sikhya means keep learning, keep growing. Seek, se Sikhya bana. And I genuinely feel stories choose us. Uh, be it lunchbox, be it uh, Paglet, be it uh, period end of sentence, be it uh, elephant whispers. I feel like stories choose us. And to show up with integrity and honesty every day is the job that we do. And everybody at Sikhya and the beautiful and we are empowered by Netflix, you know, um, and, and we have a deep relationship, you know, and I think um, it's deeply, it's deeply intuitive and instinctive to fall in love with the story. And we work in long format. It takes years for a story to come to life and uh, to show up every day with all your honesty is all we can do and awards, rewards may follow, may not follow. Um, this is epic that happened in our journey as filmmakers. Uh, but really, I think uh, at Sikhya, as filmmakers, we are in service of the story and the filmmaker. Lovely, lovely. That's a spiritual answer. It's wonderful. Achin, you know, I see natural history filmmakers talk about this all the time. The complexities of shooting with nature, the complexities of shooting with wildlife. And you've done both of that. So I'd like you to talk about the challenges involved. And, you know, your, your whole perspective uh, with the struggle and then the success after that. Uh, I think more than the struggle, I think the challenge in general was that we were shooting this around COVID. Uh, in a way, there were a lot of challenges. Of course, we were shooting in a remote area. The first time we met Karthiki was, I think, physically we met her after a year of the... I think we had so many Zoom conversations over a, for a year. Uh, the, the fact that we were dealing and we were operating in a time when the world was so negative, I think the story gave us a lot of hope. Uh, the fact the first time we saw the some footage, it was, we had never seen something like that. So I think, yes, in general, the documentary has its own challenges. The fact that the journey for this docu has been for five years. Uh, be it, you know, different schedules of shooting and filming in the, uh, in the remote area. Uh, or to even you know, deal with that amount of footage, I think. But but I think there was a vision that Karthiki had at the start of the, uh, you know, when she set out, which was a secret bond between the man and the nature. And somewhat, I think, over these many years, at different stages with different, uh, you know, HODs and different people coming together, we fought those challenges in a very joyous manner. So it never felt like, a, you know, probably on any other production that we might face or the, you know, the moment you think of a wildlife or a nature, you know, the kind of challenges. I think it was, it was quite fun. It was quite fun to deal with baby elephants and, you know, just to be around them. So I think challenges were less and the process was more joyous for us. Lovely. Keeping you know, it fun. I, I just want to add there that, you know, when you look at the space of wildlife, you really look at men, it's been an image of you know, those long lenses, open jeeps, you know, there's a very macho-ness to wildlife so many years. And here's this young woman, a natural history photographer with her purest vision. And I'm so grateful that she chose uh, Sikhya to produce and she reached out. Uh, so I, at any stage and at any audience that I get, I want to really say that, uh, that this has been one of the most beautiful journeys and we got to learn a lot about wildlife with her on this journey because it was also our first wildlife um, adventure and a project. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like you to, like all of us to welcome the true hero and heroine of the Elephant Whisperers. Now, before I call them on, on stage, like I said, you know, to call them Mahouts would not encompass what they truly mean. They are parents. Yeah. Parents to Raghu, to Ammo. And here they are. Bowman and Belly. 
The Pure Souls Mahogano. I just want to give you a little bit of a background because India is such a vast country and there are things that perhaps you don't know. You see, Bowman and Belly are from the Kartu Nayagan community. Now, let me explain what Kartu Nayagan literally means in Tamil. Nayagan is like in Hindi, you say Nayak. Anil Kapoor made that film, Nayak. So, a Nayak is a hero, and Kart in Tamil literally means forest. So, they are the heroes of the forest. The community itself is called the heroes of the forest, the Kartu Nayagans. And they, for generations, have been protectors of the forest. The forest and the animals to them are part of their existence, part of their very being. And they've come all the way from Tepukadu camp, yes, Mudumalai, which is the Tiger Reserve. So all of you, if you go to Mudumalai, please, please, please uh, reach out to them at the Tepukadu camp. And it's just wonderful to have them here. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to ask them questions in Tamil and also uh, you know, translate it back to you. Um, the first question obviously will be about this wonderful bond that they've developed. Uh, with Ragu with Ammu and the other elephants they care for and what we can do as urban city slickers to get that level of, of love. Mughal Kervieta, Ninga Yulo Asaya, Anba, Yanaga Loda Kinga, Seriana, very kind of number, number Larko in the mother Yana or the Yuki Kapuri. A Chana Miska, go Sundrain with the Mirikus Kundrain even to me. He says, my father taught me, my grandfather taught my father, and I will teach the next generation. And that's what all of you need to do. If you love animals, you must teach your children, and their children must teach their children. Belia ma, sonu kama. Yebri vula asya erkinga. Yana orda. Oh, this is so beautiful. Allow me to translate this, please. She says, even now that I've come to the city and I've left the Pagada camp, my babies there must be longing for their Thai, for their mother. And that's what I am to them. I want to thank Bowman, she says, for calling me on as the mother of the first elephant and then the second elephant, because I myself didn't believe that I could be a mother to two living, thriving elephants. And now I can't get enough. And I want to keep mothering these elephants. And I want to go back to my elephants. Romba and Rima. Romba, thanks. My next question, obviously, is about how they've become famous. I mean, they went and met Chief Minister Stalin. They're now in Mumbai. People have started recognizing them because th thanks to Netflix India, Dream Sikhya, it's become a global phenomenon. You know, people are watching it in various languages. So I want to know how much the Oscar victory has actually affected them. Bowman Belli, Oscar Parasupetra, நீங்க <laughs> <laughs> 
பண்ணத்தான் அதுக்கு அவங்க தான் நான் நான் மெயினாக நன்றி சொல்லணும் கார்த்தி மேடமுக்கு ரெண்டு யானை குட்டி நாங்கள் வளர்த்தி பெருசு பண்ணி ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட் எடுத்து இந்த மாதிரி வெளியே வந்ததுக்கு காட்டு நாயக்கரு சந்தோஷமா இருக்கு I am a cartoon icon I am a protector of the forest and I feel immense pride that the stories of my babies have been put in front of the world and I want to thank Kartiki madam for actually bringing my story and the story of my children to the entire world and that is so important to me beyond the prize the pride that I feel as a father Benya ma neengala sollunga Oscar Oscar ஜெய் சப்ரா எப்படி ஃபீலிங் உங்களுக்கு நல்ல சந்தோஷமா இருக்கு எனக்கு இந்த பஸ்ல இந்த மாதிரி எனக்கு தெரியாது எப்ப கார்த்திகை வந்து அந்த டாக்குமெண்ட் எடுத்து இப்ப இங்க எல்லாம் வரணும்னு சொல்லிட்டு இந்த ஊர் எல்லாம் வந்து பார்த்து மக்கள் மேல பாக்கும்போது என் சொந்த மாதிரி தான் பாக்குறேன் நான் வேற என்ன பாக்கல எனக்கு பயம் இல்ல என்ன காட்டுக்குள்ள போனா அந்த பயம் போடணும் இப்ப எல்லா பசங்க முன்னாடி அம்மான்னு சொல்லிட்டு நிக்கிறேன் நான் ரெண்டு ஏன குட்டி அம்மா மாதிரி எல்லா பசங்க எனக்கு அம்மா அம்மான்னு சொல்லும்போது என் பசங்க பக்கத்துல இருக்கிறேன்னு சொல்லிட்டு தான் நான் நிக்கிறேன் எனக்கு சந்தோஷம் Oh that's woman pa she says bobat might feel a little shy but i have no fear because i've lived in the forest <laughs> you people might think oscar is a big prize but for me the real prize is coming and meeting all you wonderful people who have given you so who have given me so much respect and they've given me respect as a mother and i want to thank thank everybody here and it's wonderful to be able to come to a big city and meet so many people wonderful wonderful my last question has got to be about future plans i mean there's ragu there's ammo these wonderful elephants that they've nurtured and they brought up as parents adutha de enna inno yanagal vandirukaangala adutha oru kutti vandirukke dharma nan solli oru kutti vandirukke forest school la irundhu naan appo eduthu vandhen அம்மா வந்து கிடையாது அம்மா இறந்துருச்சு ஒரே இடத்துல மூணு யானை இறந்துருச்சு அதனோட குட்டி நான் கொண்டு வந்து விட்டுட்டு இங்க வந்திருக்கிறேன் இந்த போய் அந்த குட்டியை நான் வளர்த்தி பெருசு பண்ணி அதுக்கு நல்லா பண்ணணும் தர்மம் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப அழகா பேர் வச்சிருக்கீங்க வெளி சொல்லுமா அடுத்தது என்ன எல்லா ரெண்டு குட்டிக்கு வந்து அம்மான்னு சொன்னதானே அதனால இந்த குட்டியை கொஞ்சம் பெருசு பண்ணி கூட சொன்னதுக்கு நான் வேண்டாம்னு சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தேன் இப்ப அது பார்க்கும்போது ஒரு மாதிரி குழந்தையில அம்மா இல்ல குட்டினால எனக்கு பாசம் வந்துட்டு சரி நான் வளர்த்து கொடுக்குறேன் பேசி கொடுத்துட்டு இன்னும் வளர்த்து தான் கொடுக்குங்கண்ணா இட் இஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் பெயின்ஃபுல் அஸ் அ மதர் யூ பிரிங் அப் சில்ட்ரன் அண்ட் தே கோ வே So I was apprehensive about bringing up another child. But when they brought Dharmam to me, Dharmam is the new elephant, and they told me that Dharmam's mother has passed away. How could I say no to bring up that baby elephant? And Bowman before that said he's waiting to go back because Dharmam is already with them and they're going to raise Dharmam. Unfortunately, Dharmam's mom had passed away and the three siblings have also gone right. missing. so he is the only uh, the only elephant in that particular group the breed the tribe uh, that they were able to save and bring back to tepokadu their camp yeah. roman and rima thank you so much yeah. roman belly ninga inga vandirukada unga karuna unga idayatha paathu namballa romba aashiryama maatrom ungala ninga vande மேடம் வந்து கையா யானைகளுக்காக ஒரு சின்ன பிரைஸ் நீங்க கண்டிப்பா கொடுத்துருக்காங்க भाई हाथ नीचे करना ए यार हटो ना यार अरे कोई मतलब नहीं पैकअप कर रहे मोबाइल वाले को लगा दो आगे कर हां वही शूट हां वही शूट करेगा वही भी चलाएगा ये ये रूम का कैमरा है हां हां बड़े बड़े फोटोग्राफर आ गए आज
ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਹੀ ਖੈਂਗਾ ਇਹ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੰਟ ਹਾਂ ਰੁਕ ਜਾਓ ਵੀ ਸਰ ਜਾਓ ਛੋੜੀ ਨੇ ਜਾ ਜਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਚੱਲੇ ਜਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਮ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਯਾ ਲਵਲੀ ਲਵਲੀ ਯਾ ਓਹ ਕਾ ਮੋਟਰ ਲੈ ਲਓ ਭਾਈ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਲੋਗ ਆਜ ਤੁਮ ਲੋਗ ਗਏ ਆ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਮ ਲੋਗ ਕਾ ਹੀ ਦਿਨ ਆਜ ਓਕੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਦੋਸਤ अच्छा अलग कॉम्बिनेशन चाहिए दे वांट डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन सो मे बी जस्ट ए वरुण बेटा ਕਿਆ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ 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 ਕਿ